a new FCC filing has brought to light details about the upcoming Aura Ring 4. Uh, the new iteration follows the third generation, which has been around since October 2021. Uh, the certification documents actually uh, show two distinct models, most likely two different design variants of the same ring. Photos included in the filing reveal a slightly tweaked design as compared to the current generation. They actually show a smooth and flat uh, look, more like uh, Aura Horizon than Heritage. Additionally, the middle part of the ring appears to be slightly raised. Plus, there's a noticeable grad gradation on both sides instead of the smooth transition into the frame uh, as seen in Gen 3. While the outer part of the housing is clearly made of metal, the sensor cover maintains its transparent material construction, uh, presumably using synthetic resin. Uh, the sensor arrangement in the Aura Ring 4 has also been revised. However, it is not clear whether this means new sensors or just improved accuracy of the skin temperature, SpO2 and heart rate sensors. My hope is for the inclusion of a blood pressure monitor, uh, but I think there's only an outside chance of that happening. Two major new features are however expected to debut with the Aura Ring 4. First, the ring is anticipated to offer Apple Pay style contactless payments capabilities, along with support for virtual cards. This development follows Aura's acquisition of Proxy in 2023, a company specializing in digital identity signal technology. Secondly, Aura is also testing a symptom radar feature. This is designed to alert users to significant changes in their biometric readings. It is the type of proactive health monitoring that has the potential to provide you with early warnings about health issues. It would also be good to see Aura address some concerns from the current generation. The launch of Gen 3 uh, in 2021 was marred by the introduction of a monthly subscription fee and delayed feature rollouts. Needless to say, this has disappointed many users. Additionally, battery life remains a point of contention. While Aura advertises a five-day battery life between charges, many users report shorter durations. This issue seems to be common among smart rings, with battery performance often de deteriorating over time. I actually appreciate that the current Aura ring lacks a screen or vibration feature. It reduces the number of digital transactions in my life. Hopefully, the new model will maintain this minimalistic approach. The smart ring market has become uh, increasingly competitive since the launch of uh, Aura Gen 3. New entrants include Rincon, Ultra Human Ring Air, a Macefit Helio Ring, and most recently the Samsung Galaxy Ring. Notably, most of these competitors do not require a subscription, which could put pressure on Aura to reconsider its pricing model. As of now, several key details about Aura Ring 4 remain unknown, including its launch date, price, and the full list of new features and upgrades. However, considering uh, that the FCC has approved the device, uh, the, un or the official unveiling uh, is probably only weeks or uh, a couple of months away. This iteration will enter a market that has evolved significantly since its predecessor's launch. Aura's choices with this new model will play a crucial role in shaping the company's position in the increasingly crowded smart ring space.